I became interested in pottery when I was 18 years old, when I purchased my first piece of Staffordshire ceramics, a tiny blue and white bottle, which I purchased for about 10 pence, and that led me to the, my collection, really. Blue and white is very inspiring to look at, very ethereal, and I think that's why a lot of collectors all over the world really enjoy collecting as I do. The whole range of Staffordshire ceramics capture my imagination, from the gilded ware to the enamelled ware to the hand-painted ware to the sprigging, but most of all the blue and white transfer print ware capture my imagination because of the diversity of the, the patterns and the different blues. And I did feel only later when I started to collect ceramics and knew more about it that you know this was a very special industry which um, people worked very hard for and the skills were huge and the creativity from Stoke-on-Trent was unsurpassed really. Our involvement with Burley came about when we had a shop in Winchester in Hampshire near the cathedral and we only specialised in Staffordshire ceramics and one of our suppliers was Burgess and Lee who made Burley ware from this wonderful old factory. And in 1999, Burgess and Lee went out of business, so Burley ware ceased to be produced any longer. It was very, very sad that such a wonderful old heritage business had collapsed. So after a lot of campaigning with heritage bodies, we decided ourselves to take it on. We dropped everything and came up here in 1999 and had to, we had 18 people and a factory that sort of ground to a halt so it was a very challenging situation coming from small shop owners to this but um, everybody's very helpful, the workforce was very keen and motivated because you know, they thought like most potteries just got lost at that stage but this one effectively got reborn and uh, some workers gave us only three weeks but, and took bets on it but uh, nine years later we're still here. Like they say that all artists suffer to create beauty and this town had kind of suffered collectively to send these objects of beauty all over the world and they were created under great um, difficulty. We don't, we have computer controlled kilns now, in those days it was up to a man and his skill. One of the things that motivated me to save this place was it's, it's very much a hand craft skill and this, this day, day and age when everything's sort of mass produced, this pottery still preserves unique hand skills. Um, going back 250 years or more. We're really proud here at Burley to carry on this tradition of making beautiful handcrafted items and we hope to do this for many years to come.